morning, everyone. So today for math, we have two things to work on. Our polygon page and our warm-up, okay? So let's do our warm-up first, all right? It says, Tom and Ben ordered pizza for lunch. They each, ooh, I'm going to underline each, right, since they both had some. They each ate one-third of the pizza. How much pizza is, ooh, left? And how much was eaten? Okay, so we have a couple things we have to look at here. First, let's make our pizza. Nice, tasty pizza. All right, they each ate one-third of the pizza. So now I know how to cut my pizza up. I'm going to have thirds, so kind of like a peace sign. Perfect. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you know that it's in thirds. All right, so Tom ate some. And Ben ate some. And this is what's left, right? This amount right here is what's left. So we can say, for how much pizza is left, how much is there? One third, one third, oh, one third left. For pizza left, all right, pizza on top. Pizza left is one third. How much was eaten? So we can say pizza eaten. Make our little colon, two thirds. This is a pretty easy warm up. We've done this before, but I thought it'd be nice to have something that looks really familiar during our time at home before we go into something totally different. Now, this page asks us, is it a polygon? But do we even know what a polygon is? So in your graphing notebook, you can write down a definition for us. I have my graphing notebook right here. And a polygon, a polygon is something very special in math. Something that you have around you all the time. A polygon is a plane shape. Now that means 2D, as in flat. A plane shape, and I'll write 2D next to it. Plane shape comma, 2D with straight lines. Now, it can have three or more sides. And to help you remember that, an English tip, the word poly, P-O-L-Y, poly means many, right? More than one. So it can have three or more sides. It can have many sides. It could even have 100 sides, right? Now here's some examples of polygons. You've definitely seen these before. We've got a triangle, which has three sides. Triangle, let me write that down. Triangle, we've got a square. And you can put this in your graphing notebooks so that you have a way of remembering this for the future. We've got a square. What else could we do? What do you think? How about we do a star? Not perfect, but it's definitely still a polygon. We could do a diamond or a rhombus. These are all different polygons because they're flat, right? They're not 3D. They have more than three or more sides, right? Three or more straight lines that make up the sides. It's not too tough. And I'll write this one as a rhombus, R-H-O-M. B U S Rom bus. Now, there's also such things as shapes that aren't polygons, right? Not all shapes are polygons. Now, that could be, let's say, let's see, 
not a polygon. Let's make a side right here. Not a polygon. P-O-L-Y-G-O-N. I'm going to underline that so I don't forget. I need to even add an exclamation point. Not a polygon. So that's anything that has less than three sides or uses lines that are not straight. So that could be something like a circle, right? That could be something like just one line. One line is not, right? We have to have three or more. We have to have three or more in order to make a polygon. We could do a funky little wiggly shape. Also, definitely not a polygon, right? It only really has one straight side. These are all wiggly and curly. It won't work. What's one more I could do? Hmm. I'll make a little funky shape. Once again, this is not a polygon. It has to have straight lines and three or more sides. All right? Now, this first page is pretty easy, right? We gave you a nice, easy start for this week. Let me first start by putting my name on top. So, Miss... Gronberg. Now, let's look at that first one. I know that this has three sides and that it's a triangle. So is it a polygon? Yes. See, this is super easy. I'm just doing yes, no's here. This one, hmm, oh, this one doesn't close. We didn't draw that here for our not a polygon section, but maybe we should so we don't forget. I'm going to add that one. It doesn't close. A shape like this that doesn't have closed sides can't be a polygon. So this one's definitely no. Now this one, even though it's a funky shape and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sides, it's still a polygon. It's got straight lines. It's a closed shape. It's 2D, right? A 3D shape such as, say, a cube or a sphere, that wouldn't be a polygon, right? So I can draw a cube here. Yep, so I'm just drawing my cube. So I'll do two squares touching, and then you just connect the corners. So a cube like this, this 3D shape, right? This would not be a polygon. It has to be something flat. It has to be something 2D, right? Right, 2D, okay. So let's keep going. Let's see what else we've got. We've got this one now, it has mostly flat sides, but this side right here is pretty round, right? We're not going to qualify this because this round side right here, that means not all sides are straight. So nope, that definitely doesn't work. This one kind of has two shapes in one. Shapes like these don't create polygons. So we're gonna say no again. When our lines cross each other, right? And when they intersect, that makes this kind of into two shapes, okay? But we won't say it's a polygon. All right, our lightning bolt shape, all straight lines, it's closed, and it's 2D. All right, yes. Let's move down right here. Our rhombus, right? Or even kind of just a square on its point. Let's see all closed sides, all straight lines, no curves, yes. <gasps> an oval, an oval, what's an oval doing here? An oval is definitely a no. This one, this one has a really long extra line. That's so unnecessary and this definitely is not a polygon because of that. So we'll say no. Then we've got this weird guy, hmm. Yeah, no way. No way, mm -mm, not gonna happen. This curve here, not a chance. We've got a really skinny rectangle shape here. That one on the other hand, let's see. All sides are closed, they're all straight, and it's a 2D shape. So this is going to be a yes. And then our very last one, our little star, right? It's kind of a fat star, <laughs> but all of it's closed. All of the sides are straight, right? So we'll write yes. 
Okay, so to review what we did today, first we had our warm up, which talked about Tom and Ben, and they had some pizza, right? And we figured out that there was one third of a pizza left, right? Pizza left was one third. And then we had pizza eaten, it was two thirds. Then we looked at polygons, and we learned that polygon is a plane shape, 2D with straight lines. It can have three or more sides, right? So we've got triangle, square, star, rhombus, and then we have our not a polygon section, which don't really have names. I guess I could name this one, circle, not a polygon, weird line, not a polygon. This weird, almost looks like a gummy bear, like an animal. Definitely not a polygon. If it's not closed, can't be a polygon. And then this cube, C-U-B-E, this thing, definitely not a 2D shape. So not a polygon. Neither is this guy over here, our little amoeba looking thing. And then looking back, finally, we did our, is it a polygon page where we said, Yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, yes. And our name is on top. And that's it for math today, guys. This is it. This is what our daily lessons are going to look like. We'll use our graphing notebooks to take notes. And we're going to be learning about shapes. We'll do some decimal points and fractions too. Those are still coming back. Don't worry. But that's what we're doing today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you for reading.